So if you're wearing flashy clothes, please stop. I'm not gonna say any spoilers, but the the dating courting term peacocking comes up. Oh, fun. Um, so I want to get into that a little I was bit. Always, I always think of the scene from Seventeen again, that movie with Zac Efron. Where, like, his best friend is pretending to be his dad, but also trying to fuck the principal. And he dresses in, like, extravagant clothing. And she's like, are you peacocking? He's like, why is it working? I fucking love that movie. Also, that was my exposure to peacocking. So I had a... Really? I assume it's everyone's exposure to peacocking. I don't feel like that was, like, a super common thing that people threw around in shows. Yeah. But, like, for people our age, if you're also 26, 27... Yeah, uh, and 17 again is an iconic movie. Iconic. Everyone saw it. Michelle Trachtenberg. Everyone, was in it? everyone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fun. That was real fun. Oh my God. And the guy who played Chandler Bing was in it, Matthew Perry. Who did he play? Zach oh, Efron as an adult. Right, right. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Should have been okay. Brad Pitt. Strong <laughs> disagreement of casting. <laughs> um, um, mm, peacocking. Right. Okay. So I really like this. That <clears throat> I like this definition that Joe Duncan, who wrote an article on Medium, gave for peacocking. Peacocking is the art of showing off, wearing flashy clothes that often resemble seventies pimp outfits, and mm-hmm. generally being an insufferable attention whore of a man. Yeah. It's the guys who, um, they're all show. The ones who jack up their motorcycles and, like, make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, guys, I have, like, a huge dick. Super available. Lots of money. (laughs) Lots of money. Um, So I wanted to get into where that term comes from. Real peacock mating. So it's the peacocks (laughs) because it's it it exactly describes uh, F boys in the wild. Yeah. I think this is, yeah, continue. Okay. So it's the peacocks who are the male cocks. Yeah, in bird species, the male birds are always the prettier uh, gender. Because they are trying to convince this beautiful woman. Because they're the ones who do the courting. Yeah. So, and then the peahens are the females, and they're just sort of brown looking. Oh my God, are female peacocks called peahens? Yeah, I also learned that from this. I know, yeah. The more. So that's why it's peacocks are male, peahens female. And so the peacock will come over, bring all of his beautiful feathers up. Um, and what's interesting is that the peahen doesn't even ever really look at the feathers. They're just looking at their legs and like their cock or like the end of the tail. So mm-hmm. like they don't care what's going up up top, what's your peen look like. Mm-hmm. And if they approve of the peacock, they'll crouch down. The peacock will then scream, hoot like really really loudly like huzzah yeah and then he charges at the mm-hmm. peahen they fuck um if he's successful that is <laughs> yes she can turn him down she can Consent turn him is down very big in birds um <laughs> so the hoot one is a declaration of conquest and it's also to alert other peahens everywhere else like i got one i'm hot you probably want me to inseminate you too <clears throat> so I think it's really funny that peahens don't give a fuck about the attire that they're wearing. So if you're wearing flashy clothes, please stop. No, but that's why it's so perfect, you know, because like it doesn't work when men are wearing super flashy clothes. We're like, OK, and <laughs> like, you thought you did something. Well, then I guess there is um, a rhyme and reason to the type of boyfriends who just wear a T-shirt and jeans and their girlfriends wearing like a ball gown. The Brooklyn hipster yes yeah yeah it's why all men like low-key dress the same and we're all like oh my god Pete Davidson's so fucking hot <laughs> how about Adam Sandler he dresses like he's another really age. good example of this yeah. where it's just like he's like I have on gym shorts that I've owned since I was 12 and this shirt that I got at a college fair what college fair I don't know I was just there and I took the shirt <laughs> and he's like this is my fit for the day he is still as sexy to me like thank you no I think that like I know the internet um, recently rediscovered Adam Sandler rediscovered mm. as if he ever went anywhere but like yeah you know, his heyday is kind of over yeah um, hailed as a, as a dowdy but no I don't know how much time you've ever spent watching like ne- National Geographic bird mating videos only a little I, spend more time doing it if this interests you because they are so fucking funny yeah like really intense like very intricate 
bird mating like rituals and dances and songs that they have to do and like literal moves that they have to nail like flashing there's this one bird that has like a yellow feather and there's a whole dance that's a mating ritual he has to do for his female mate and if he like fucks up that move and like doesn't properly show his feather she'll literally be like okay bye bit like we're not <laughs> fucking today we're at the olympics okay anyway i went through a phase where i was super into national geographic videos and i love the ones that are um uh that are annotated no that are, i love the ones that are narrated by comedians oh you know, i don't like think maybe. i've ever watched those oh, those are I'm like i'm sure they're very funny they're so funny but yeah yoni's a birder so I've yeah for ask sure him seen if on. he has any wrecks okay i will um this is this is the part that really got me though oh, there's more yeah peahens are very independent women such as the women on f boy island mm-hmm. i keep wanting to call it too hot to handle i'm so sorry um and so if the opportunity arises they actually prefer lex and a a lek is just a group of peacocks together they're all individually not that hot but together they create the the cheerleader cheerleader effect effect. and individually i mean sorry and together they perform the most beautiful courting dance thing Mm. because again the cheerleader effect and so the peahen can come over evaluate everyone pick the hottest one fuck him and then leave um okay that's it and then leave cool so um (laughs) just the um the reason that the reason i got so into this is because my brother sent me a meme that was going around recently of a of a lioness biting a lion's balls and the caption was like in he lionesses have sex 20 to 40 times a day and if a man can't can't And if a man can't keep up with her, she mates with him by biting his balls. But the picture in question was actually of a female cub biting the balls of her daddy. And the only part of that meme that was true is that a lioness does have sex 20 to 40 or 50 times a day. And that's that on uh, the spread of misinformation. Yeah. Don't believe all the memes you see, you guys. Don't believe the hype. (sighs) 